Hello friends, Jakey here. Now this is going to be more of a follow-up from my last video. So my last video, I tested this stupid setup at Zora and it turned out not being that bad. That got me thinking, maybe other places where you can use a twisted bow, it's probably actually maybe a little bit good. And also a bunch of you suggested stuff like try at Bandos, Vorkath, and Saradome in God Wars Dungeon. All three of which we're going to be doing in today's video. So you can see that I've got the setups for all of these, for all of these bosses in the inventory. I'm going to try blast through this intro as fast as possible. So we're going to do all of the methods normally as in you do twist bow and armadillo with uh, with an alt to kill the ranger at Saradomen, and then we get a baseline kills now with that and then we use this setup and see how it goes and then we'll do that for each of the three bosses and also with Saradomen, I'm gonna use an armadillo crossbow at some point too just to compare um now Vorkath you don't use a twisted bow but like a blowpipe is sort of trash on Vorkath so crystal bow might replace that because it's really accurate and blowpipe really isn't we'll be testing that with a salve amulet on Vorkath later but you can see I've got my alt here look at that Ooh. Look at my ult, isn't he beautiful with his nice fire cape? If the Ellie full justice here, that is definitely not mine, that is Lint. But that Ellie is mine. Dragon Warhammer, and he can't wear a Hasta because he hasn't done the he hasn't done the mini quest. So we're gonna be doing Bandos first. Now the meta for Bandos right now is you have a tank, being this guy right here, and then you would have me, who would just be in this gear-ish. You'd be in full armor dough on a blowpipe, and you would kill Bandos like that. So for one trip, we're gonna do it like that, or for like 10 kills or something, and then we're gonna switch it so that I'm in this setup, but the tank won't change gears. And then we'll, I'll just get the average time over like 10 or 15 kills and uh, see how it goes. So then after we've done Bandos, we'll do a quick break where we're going to do Vorkath because I'm very interested to see if Crystal was better. And then last, but definitely not least, the one that I'm most uh, interested in is definitely Saradome in God Wars Dungeon. Where Tebow is good because you need mad accuracy to hit her. And Crystal Bow has that mad accuracy because of the Crystal set. And it's faster than Twisted Bow. Um, so yeah, Saradome we're going to be doing last. With that being said... It is time for me to make up a spreadsheet for each boss and then gear up for Bandos, I think, right? I don't think I missed anything. Frequently asked questions from last video really quickly. Why didn't you imbue a crystal bow? You can no longer imbue crystal items. They removed that with when Song of the Elves came out. And yes, I will be using Dragon Arrows with the Twisted Bow this time around. Just so just so we get the fastest of kills for the baseline. I think that's it. Let's um Let's get ready. Hello? Alright, I think we're, we're all set, ready to go. So, um, uh, Crystal Army, you have to go in the bank. So, first we're gonna get rid of these coins. It, this is what my tank is, is rocking. Pretty simple setup, but that is the best way to do it. Except you should not bring a whip. You should bring, like, a Grazi Rapier or a Hasta. But I can't use a Hasta, so I'm bringing a whip. Um, um, yeah, so now we just have to drop trick all of our stuff, and then we're on our way to the Bandos. Oh, Mr. Ult, pray the right way. I got you. I'll pray range. I'll tank. Uh, Alright, so I've got energy transfer as well, because that's what the pros do, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Mr. Ult. My ult has 70 agility as well, so he's gonna be helping me out as Sarah. The pros, they'll like energy transfer their ult, so the ult can constantly drag a Warhammer spec Bandos. Uh, so you can land at least one spec. That's ideal. Why is my phone going off? Now, idea is my ult goes down here without dying instantly. Is that going to be the case, though? Oh, he's under attack. Oh, let me turn one set. One set of sound effects is enough. Please, thank you. All right, well, now we're going to get some KC while my ult strolls on over to the Hobgoblins because he hasn't got a Zami item. All right, um, I'll get back to you when we've got the kill count. Oh, my goodness. Sleeping goat. Level 101, look at this man, what necklace is that? Is that a holy symbol? Holy guacamole, what a be- <laughs> The red dehyde, was that a BGS? A BGS slayer helm and the holy symbol. Keep those sourdough and peasants off you, dude. I forgot my hecky doodling hammer, but it's okay. I found one. All right, the, the ult is nearly done with the KC, just over there killing some hobbling, hob hobbling goblins? Hobbling goblins. Bong. I always loved how like obnoxiously loud that door is. This man is shanking it. Is he got? Is he got a blowpipe DPS? Oh, it's just two people duo mailing it. Oh, interesting. Melee isn't meant to be that good at Bandos. I mean, back in my day, you only meleeed Bandos, but whatever. The pros these days say range is where it's at, so that's what I'm doing. Anyway, let me just wait for the ult, and then we're gonna jump right in. Wait, listen, 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 real close. Listen, listen. listen. No, are you kidding me? The vampire interrupted my sound so I didn't get to hear the bong. I'm so upset. And about 50 years after hopping, we found somewhere. All right, I'm gonna turn both count sound effects on so I don't get messed up. Already, are we ready for a disastrous trip? Uh, why? I just changed this. Why is it? Why is it pre rage? I just changed it to pre melee. Divine ranging pot, go! Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I sort of have to pay attention. 
to the oh, else the ult's gonna die. Actually, stay away from the melee minion. This is going pretty well. Oh, this is this is pretty easy actually. This this ain't too bad at all. All right, that took 42 seconds. Uh, switch into the goo fans. Oh, sweet, I got a rune pickaxe. All right, stop, stop dying. Oh, kill this, kill this kid. All right, there we go. Actually, you know what? I'll do the times so like until the uh. Until the loot hits the floor, that's when I'll stop the timer. Can my ult heal at all? Dude, he's just sort of sitting there not healing. Oh my goodness, my maid is tanking Bandos. Oh, I just got punched in the face, dude. Run the heck away. Yeah, get on that guy. There we go. Now we gotta do the dragon whammering. Dude, my my thingy is just destroying even without the... Uh... Oh, I guess everything missed. E-trance, go. Ah, oh, yes. More dragon warhammers. <laughs> dude, Blowpipe destroys this thing. Dude, I'm, I'm not warhammering again. I missed all of my warhammers. Blowpipe destroys Bandos. You don't even understand. Ah, rune longsword. Heck yeah. All right, let's do a kill from the perspective of my ult. I think my ult, my ult's Guthans is just broken. It sort of just doesn't do anything. Do I gotta pray to Guthan to make it work? Huh? Honestly, can I get a heal? Start the kill. Go. All right, do some some dodging of the hits, dude. Dodging of the hits. So I basically don't have to pay attention to the main. My main just sort of sit there and does DPS. Oh my. I get this. No dying today. Please die. Please. Another rune longsword hit. Yeah. So that was 50 seconds again. So you're getting sub one minute kills. It's pretty good. Use the magical powers. Use the dragon warhammer. Uh, let's do some runny eat any outy. Oh my goodness, that kill was vile. Ooh, a rune plate body. Would you look at that? Dude, dancing with Bandos is quite the art, I must say. All of them are this. I haven't hit one hammer this trip. What is this? Dude, the blowpipe actually tears Bandos up so bad. I can't even, dude. Taking many damages. Many damages. Die, please. Thank you. Whoever's texting me has got to stop that. Oh, chili potatoes. That's what I'm talking about. 31 second kill, huh? That was close. Oh my goodness, oh my. Get him off me. Get him off me. He punched me. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Oh my goodness. He punched me for a fitty. Heckin' fitty. Please get on my ult. Else I'm going to cry. Oh my goodness, he punched me again. Oh my goodness, I prayer flipped that. He totally could have killed me. Can you get off? Why does he keep punching me? Just get off of me. Please get off. Finally. Oh my goodness, I took so much damage. That's a lot of damage. That was an oopsie whoopsie on my part because I sort of just sat there and got punched in the face a bunch of times and lost loads of DPS. What? Are you kidding me? I died. Right, we got we got 10 kills that time, so this, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, I have to grab my my stuff. <laughs> Where even am I? What? If I was going to die, like it's because I had the tank and I had no emergency food, dude. I had no emergency food. Okay, I'm gonna go grab my stuff back and then uh we're gonna do I have an ecumenical key? Oh, success! So I'm gonna go uh, pick up my stuff and then I'm gonna gear up the crystal armor. It's okay, someone else is in there tanking for me. Let me just let me just hop right in here. Don't mind me. <laughs> just got like 30 mil, 40 mil worth of stuff on the floor. Uh, good, good luck, have fun. I don't know if I just ruined his kill by entering the room. Oops. So this time we've got a, a little bit more bruise just in case we have to tank a few punches to the face, you know what I'm saying? Come on, Jiggy Salvus, let's go. Bong! Yeah! Hello. All right, it's time to go in. Let me open that spreadsheet up. Got to note down how many charges I've got left in all this. In you go, number one, number two. Okay. Actually, I'm not hitting that bad. Oh my goodness, wait, hold on. I haven't missed yet. Hold up. I still haven't missed. Oh wait, I just missed, never mind. I think. Oh, I just missed again. Okay, never mind. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually going pretty well at the start of the kill then. Got him. That kill wasn't bad either, dude. It wasn't bad at all. Like, that was 48 seconds or something. I stopped the timer a little bit late. 48 seconds, that's not that bad. You know what? It might be closer than I just, than I gave the crystal bow credit for. Like, this, these kill times are starting to improve quite a bit. That was 36 seconds. Oh my goodness, that was a 30 second kill. Nice. Oh my goodness. Crystal bow chill he did that crystal bow didn't miss that time he just didn't miss that 28 seconds almost flat oh my goodness that's crazy yo this kill oh my goodness this kill look at the, look at that timer oh my goodness this is ridiculous 20 just under 27 seconds <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys, Crystal Bow is not uh, not not underperforming and a semi-quick kill to finish off the trip. Very nice. Alright, well I'm just gonna heck and tab out I think, right? Uh, yes. Alrighty, let's do some maths. Time to give you the average kill, uh, kill time for both methods and 
the uh, cost for both methods. Um, let's do it. All right, so we've got some interesting findings actually. Like I'm pretty surprised just like last time. For Bandos, General Grador, Blowpipe, I averaged 45 seconds per kill. Now I'm just gonna say this now because I don't want any of you freaking out. If you're like actually competent at PVM, you should be getting on average 30 second kills with the gear setup that I used with a Blowpipe and a, a tank in full Justicia and Ellie with a Dragon Warhammer. Ignore my 45 second kill average because that is garbage because I am bad. Let's say it was 30 seconds because that's what the pros get. So 30 second average kills of blowpipe with dragon darts. Okay, that's the baseline. So the crystal boat, I got 15 kills and um, we divided that down to get the average kill time. It was 42.7 seconds and I wasn't tick perfect every time and my warhammers missed sometimes as well. So like 42 seconds, it's only 12 seconds slower than a blowpipe, which isn't bad. So like it's 10... 10 or so seconds slower, but then, but then if you actually look about it, you guys pointed this out, that this crystal armor actually effectively, sort of, but not really, costs you 7.5 mil. Since it takes 300 crystal shards to make, you could turn those into 7.5 mil worth of potions, profit like profit from potions. Blowpipe per kill was 20k, whereas crystal bow was just under 1.5k, because the blowpipe used, uh, used dragon darts and Zora scales. I would say using a crystal bow on one account and tanking on the other is better than duo meleeing, but other Otherwise, having one tank, one blowpipe is still the best way to do it. Now, let's move on to Vorkath. This time I don't need to duo, but my ult will have to come back for when I do Sarah. Uh, actually, disclaimer for Vorkath, I'm not going to be doing the best method because I know that the Crystal Bow will not compete with the Dragon Hunter Crossbow or Lance, which is 30 kills an hour. So instead, I'm going to go for the budget setup, and now we all know the budget setup for Vorkath is a toxic blowpipe, and to give it the benefit of the doubt, I'll use Armadil. Actually, no, I'm not. I've got to use Void, don't I? So I whip out the Void, We'll do like 10 kills with a blowpipe, get the average time, and then we'll switch into the full crystal, the crystal burn, the salve amulet. Now, honestly, this time around, I think crystal burn might have the edge on blowpipe at Vorkath because the extra accuracy you get from having the crystal bow and the set effect. So this is what I'm excited for, and then Sarah Doman after that. Alrighty, let me, let me just explain this setup real quick so that you guys understand. So this gear setup is assuming you have access to either a crystal bow or a blowpipe because you can't afford a dragon hunter crossbow. In which case, you'll be doing Vorkath for money, and that's why I'm using Addy Darts in a blowpipe rather than Dragon, because that'd be really stupid. Because if you're trying to make money because you have a blowpipe at Vorkath, you wouldn't use Dragon Darts, you'd use Addy. Because if you had the money to buy a Dragon Hunter crossbow, you'd buy a Dragon Hunter crossbow and not use blowpipe. And if you're using blowpipe, you'd be using it to make money to buy a Dragon Hunter crossbow. You get what I mean? I hope that makes sense. And so for this method, oops, I forgot to teleport. And so with this method, uh, wait, travel. So with the blowpipe method, the best way to do it is go into your house every kill to restore your uh, your special attack to BGS every time. So whatever the kill time says in game, it's the kill time plus this time because each each kill you have to teleport to your house to get more spec and then you run on back. So what that took like 30 seconds. So whatever the in-game timer says, plus 30 seconds is the actual kill time. Shank, shank harder. I haven't whoops walked in years. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die. Oh my goodness, didn't mess up. I'm so proud of myself. That was a gosh darn yikes because I didn't, uh... Oh, dude, an elite clue scroll. It was all worth it. So first kill, 2 minutes 51. Hopefully it'll get a bit better than that, because I don't think it's meant to be that slow. Dragon Dark Tips, heck yeah. Kill number, I'm not sure. Phew. Emerald Bolt Tips and Wraith Runes. Come on. Oh, just before the acid phase, I destroyed that kill, dude. 122. It's because I hit him for a 79 with the BGS and like a 20 or something, so. Dude, my bedroom light is like flashing. It's about to give me a seizure, dude. Not during Vorkath. Any other time of the day, it'd be fine. Dragon Bolt. Oomph. That was a 10th kill. That's all the test kills I'm doing. We've got a 215 already. Now, the exciting part I can finally do. Let me go get the crystal armor. So I just learned the hard way. <laughs> the crystal bow's length is so long. You can't do DPS while he's doing the, um, the acid phase because you, you can still shoot your bow from all the way back here. Thank you for dying today. So that was, I hit one BGS spec, that wasn't that good. 231, that's okay. What's it gonna be? A two minutes three, and this is the gear we're going with. So because I can't like walk with the bow, 
what I'm doing instead is I'm just switching into melee and Wook's walking with the melee. And that uh, was the heckin' last kill, 2 minute 30. So the blowpipe times are the actual kill plus 30 seconds, because that took me 30 seconds to run to the house, restore my spec, and then run back. And that came out to an average of 98.9 seconds, or like a minute and 38 seconds per kill. And with the crystal bow, because I got two kills per trip, I've done the kill time plus 15 seconds, since every two trips I would take 30 seconds to run to the house, add 15 seconds for each kill. So that comes out to 105.7 seconds. So this method would probably be level with the blowpipe if you brought a better weapon to do the boots walking during the um, the acid phase. So again, it's close, but blowpipe is actually better. But this is where it's interesting. So in terms of kills now, you're getting like two, maybe three kills more an hour than a, than a, with a blowpipe than a crystal bow. In terms of cost, the crystal bow is 3.3k, whereas the blowpipe is 8k. So it's half as expensive to use a crystal bow than it is a blowpipe. That's per kill. So it costs you 8k with a blowpipe, 3.3k with a crystal bow. Yeah, this is a bust. Blowpipe is better in like every scenario, unless you're an Iron Man and you somehow have full crystal before you got a blowpipe. Ugh, time to gear. I'm just gonna meet you at that Sarah because this video is probably getting too long anyway. Alrighty, let me explain this setup very, very, very briefly. So I've got my main here, which has got a T-bow. This is which is getting baseline with a T-bow, and then my ult. What's he doing? What's he's doing? He's just gonna sit in the northeast bit of the room and constantly kill Bree. That way my main is taking like no damage throughout the whole kill. Because I'm praying mage and running away from the meleeers, so if the range is dead, I shouldn't take any damage. So, um, uh, heckin' let's do it. So I'm just shooting at every corner and every time I get halfway across the room. So this Tebow is pretty damn accurate and pretty damn strong, but it's not, it's missing sometimes, so I don't know. So that was 55 seconds. That was the first kill, though, so that's probably the slowest kill we're gonna get. So if you were gonna stay here for longer, you would bring purple sweets to restore your energy rather than, um, rather than staminas, but I'm only gonna be here for 10 kills, so. Yeah, the room kite shield with the 58 second kill. Go Gosh, bam. All right, that was 10 kills, but I'm gonna do 15 for this one. Get some, some better averages. A, sa a Saradomin sword, why? <gasps> that could have been a hill. I think, I think that's how it works. I think that could have been a hill. It's okay. It's not like I expected anything anyway. Never lucky. A chaos talisman. Well, that was the final kill. All right, let me go switch into the crystal bow and you're going to log out and hide. Alrighty, it's t time again where we're just gonna, do you like, do you like my sourdome item? Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so I'm genuinely, I don't know, dude. I don't know how good accuracy this has with the set. Go and get, 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 get it done. Sourdome, where you at? Good start. Oh, actually, this is okay. So, yeah, I can shoot more often with uh, with this. Oh my goodness, I'm like not missing. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Dude, are you seeing all of the- Oh my goodness, look at all these hits. Okay, there's a miss. Oops, I shot Starlight. Oh no, I didn't. Oh my goodness, this destroys. The accuracy is so good. I legit- Dude, I missed more with the Tebow. I've missed like two times. Obviously, lower max hit. But like, that was pretty good. So that was like 50 seconds. Oh my goodness, all right, I'm gonna, I can't wait for the second kill now. Maybe it's not too bad. I wonder if this is better than an armadol crossbow. This isn't bad, dude. It's not bad. God sword shard, hmm. Go on, go himself, go on. Oh my goodness. This is the slowest kill by far. That was a pretty slow kill. That was like two minute kill. And now I'm out of stamina. So I did 12 kills, I think. So we're gonna end the crystal bow trip here. Um, So it's definitely not as good as Twizzler's bow, which is good because Twizzler's bow is one bill. All right, so I'm gonna gear up, get KC, and then we'll jump right back into Saradom and with the ACB. All right, so exact same method as before, except an ACB. Otherwise, we're still kiting. I'm just gonna literally, probably just gonna cut to the end of the, to the last kill unless I get like a good drop. So um, let's go. Six diamonds. So that was like a minute nine seconds. So like that's that's a pretty average kill. I'm getting between like 50, like 45 and 110. So it's looking semi similar to a crystal bow. I don't know. We'll find out when we get to the last kill. That was the last kill. Oh, there's some rune darts. I'm about to see the averages. Let's see what's the reaction. <gasps> that's the reaction you're getting. All right, let me kill these minions. Go to the bank and. Um, okay, this video has been productive. We have learned something from Sarah Doman. So um, yeah, hold on. Let me just a heck and get out of here. Also, I got no uniques other than the Sarah sword. I'm so sad. All right, so this video has been productive. I am happy with this video. So let's briefly go over Bandos and Vorkath once again, and then we'll cover Sarah Doman. So at Bandos, Crystal Bow is okay. It's like 40 or 50% slower than a blowpipe, but it's also like eight times more expensive. So if you're like 
I don't know what scenario you would use it. If you're noobs, I guess, but you have access to Elf City and you don't have a blowpipe, then yeah, Crystal Bow is right. Otherwise, no, it does not replace the blowpipe. Still use a blowpipe at Bandos. Forecast, on the other hand, Crystal Bow does not compare to Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Dragon Hunter Crossbow is still the king, easily, and Dragon Hunter Alliance. And the blowpipe was averaging uh, 98 second kills, which is a minute 38, while the Crystal Bow was averaging 105 second kills, and it also cost less than half of a blowpipe. So if you don't have a blowpipe and you're doing Vorkath, Crystal Bow honestly is not a bad way to go. And Saradome, and here we go. All right, so the Twisted Bow, it costs you just a 2.9k per kill on average, with an average kill time of 53.3 seconds. That's okay, it's pretty decent. That's the baseline. Then the Crystal Bow costs you 2.5k per kill, so less than Twisted Bow, only a little bit, but takes 82 seconds per average kill. Obviously, a Twisted Bow is one bill, Crystal Bow is not one bill, so there's quite the gap there, so Twisted Bow is definitely gonna be better. But now, if you didn't have a Twisted Bow, you would use a Armador Crossbow with Dragon Diamond Bolts. Now, this costs you 7k just under per kill in Dragon Diamond Bolts. Uh, where are they? There they are. And, all right, so the Crystal Bow is 82 second average kills, and from my 15 kills with an Armador Crossbow, my average kill time was 84 seconds. You know what that means? That means the Crystal Bow is better than the Armadillo Crossbow from my testing at Saradomen. But then here's the bad news. Crystal Bow is sort of annoying to use at Saradomen because it's faster than, it's one tick faster, I'm pretty sure, than a Armadillo Crossbow. So you can shoot three times per wall. Or like each time you run across the wall, you can shoot three times at the corner, middle of the wall, then at the corner again. But then when you get to the next corner, you're basically one tile too close to Ziliana because you fire so often. So when you leave a corner, you have to run for an extra tick. So that's what I was doing and I got 82 second kills, which is a tiny bit faster than Armador Crossbow. Also, it's three times less price, Crystal Bow, than the Armador Crossbow. There you go. If you're an Iron Man, Crystal Bow with uh, in Sarad Omen is pretty solid. Even if you're not an Iron Man, if you can't afford a Twisted Bow, Armadillo Crossbow is a little bit worse. It's a little bit slower and it's twice as expensive, nearly three times as expensive. Well, no, it is three times as expensive. Um, so yeah. Use a crystal bow. Success! So crystal bow is actually good at Saradomen. And that's the main boss I wanted to cover because that's the one I was like, damn, that one might be actually pretty good. And damn right it is. So uh, yeah, productive video. I took your guys' feedback about the, late, the last few videos being too long. So hopefully this one isn't too long. I don't know, I haven't edited it yet. But I'm going to try and cut out as much garbage as I can. And I tried to be very brief on the explanations when I gave explanations. So um, hope you enjoyed. Productive video. Crystal bow is good at Saradomen, boys. By two seconds better than Armador Crossbow. Uh, I hope you found this video fun entertaining and educational and i will see you in the next video which will be uh, this thursday when there's an update on lecterns teleport tabs and stuff yes okay all right thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video